Hello, uh, this is a lesson, um, quite clearly, lesson nine. Lesson nine is on sin and salvation. It is part of the Christian Beliefs Unit of Work. And I'd just like to say thank you, thank you to Mrs. Murray, who is providing all content and has given me the time in order to deliver this to, do, to you so it may be a little bit more engaging. Uh, in addition to that, can you please, please, please check Show My Homework? Uh, alongside every YouTube video, there is an A4 document. And on the A4 document, essentially, is all the information that I am delivering to you. Uh, the only difference is, is that hopefully I explain it in a way that will make it a little bit more accessible for some of you. I'd like you to do uh, to copy the key terms on this A4 document and I'd like you to do the activities. I'd also like you make sure whilst you're watching this uh, narrative, could you please write notes, okay, key notes based upon, in this instance, it's sin and salvation. So let's get going. Sin, sin is something that distances us from God. Uh, according to Christian belief. Every time we sin, we subsequently distance ourselves from God just that little bit further. When Adam and Eve committed the original sin, they did so by eating an apple. Uh, this could be just a, sim a symbol of the fact that they committed a sin. They went against God. They were no longer obedient. As a result of that, humanity carry that carries that original, that, that's the stain of original sin with them uh, until such time as the Christ event. Before the Christ event, however, as a direct result of eating that apple or so committing that sin, doing that action, that distance of humanity from God, humanity fell from grace. Okay, and there is a, that is the theological expression. It is called the fall. We literally, we fell from grace. It's called the fall. So sin is, is instrumental in distancing uh, us from God because we go directly go against God's law so we fall away from him fairly straightforward the Christ event is, is pretty straightforward as well it's got a cool name the Christ event essentially when Jesus dies upon the cross and by doing that he liberates humanity he brings them up with him if you can imagine for example he would have been nailed upon the cross presumably on the floor you know they wouldn't have had some spider-man like roman climbing up nailing people to the, to the cross they would have done on the floor and when they lifted him up well, after he had been nailed he is lifting humanity up with him he's bringing them up and so they no longer carry with them the stain of original sin Consequently, Jesus is known as a sacrificial lamb in the sense that he dies for human sin. And salvation, it is, or the process is called salvation. By doing so, he ensures that there is atonement between humanity and, and God. Okay, humanity and God are no longer distant, they're no longer far apart. Humanity has no longer fallen away uh, as, as they have excuse me, as they have been atoned. And there is, without going too much into units that we've passed, another good key term here is, uh, we'll call it short here, another key term is reconciliation. Humans and God have once again reconciled. Now, this is illustrated quite quite well in in uh, parables like for example the sheep and the goats that actually we can achieve reconciliation through right action that if we are genuinely sorry and the story of Zacchaeus that where by Zacchaeus was a little tax collector dude that had sinned against all of his fellow villagers uh, but he genuinely wanted salvation and to be forgiven and if humanity want that there is metaphorically Jesus as I say is that bridge which offers that way uh, our way back and that is it for today as I say we've covered a lot of these concepts in a previous lesson so I'm not going to go over all of that again but I think it's very it's prudent it's useful to go over some of it as I say, uh, there is a document that relates to the, the this particular uh, YouTube clip. Uh, do the activities and please go on to key terms. Good luck.